Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you guys are doing amazing Libra. I'm very excited. I want to wish you guys the very best of the start of this new month. Uh, super hyped and excited. Hope you are as well as we're getting closer to Hollow's Eve and you guys already know how we get down. <laughs> uh, yes, I am already rocking. <laughs> All right, Libras, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2021. We're starting off with the, the Hierophant here, the Lovers, ooh, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten, wow, okay. All right, Libra, <laughs> Ten of Cups. Uh, very, very powerful cards here, as you can see. Sorry, I usually read as I'm pulling out, but I'm very excited about this reading, Libra. All right, so right at the center, what they're showing me here is making a decision. I think that for some of you guys, you have already gone through that threshold of making a choice or a decision uh, in regards to relationships. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single or not seeing anyone in particular, um, you have to make a decision about what it is that you want moving forward um, when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about partnerships. As an example, if you feel like you're wanting some time to yourself, um, deciding and claiming, you know, I'm not really looking for love right now, I'm going to focus on myself, um, but then being upset or being sad because you see friends or those around you being in a monogamous relationship and you being a little bit sad or frustrated because of it well you're kind of sending mixed signals so what they're telling you here is you have to declare what it is that you want libra and make no apologies for that okay so even as an example if to you what your happiness truly is is finding yourself and being single then embrace that you shouldn't feel shame by it you shouldn't feel like um you know all my friends are getting in relationships and you know i'm the only one that's not like find different friends or find the comfortability of being on the go on your own you see what i'm saying like taking yourself out on dates doing things um that you wouldn't normally do because obviously libras like to be around people uh, but this is a whole process that you need to go through and embrace um, now for those of you guys that are looking for something long term now is the time to start claiming that i feel that for for the majority of you guys in september you will most definitely be meeting someone that is going to greatly affect your life for the next coming years now, those of you guys that are in a serious relationship, I see you guys taking it to the next level. There's some type of engagement, some type of commitment here. Um, it, it's starting a new chapter, a new chapter with a stronger foundation. So again, I do see commitment here. I do see um, wanting to take it to the next level. Now, for those of you guys that, like I said, have been single but are looking for relationships, stop wasting your time on people that you think you can fi fix, Libra. Um, what they're telling you here is just as you would want someone to accept you for who you are, not the best version of you, not what the future of you may be. No, you want someone to fully embrace and accept you for who you are. And what they're telling you here is that you need to stop looking at partners with or through rose-colored glasses. You need to accept them as is. So if you're meeting someone and they're starting to show you red flags, and that's not the type of person that you know would work well with you in a relationship, then it's time to be strong enough to walk away from that. Why? Because they're telling you here, Libra, whatever it is that you want, we will give. We will surrender to you. We will embrace that. We will manifest that for you. But you're, ha you're going to have to be completely certain that this is what you want, which means not settling with half-ass things, even relationships, not settling with, you know, the person I met kind of meets the qualities that I'm looking for, but not completely. They're telling you stop settling and making excuses, thinking that in the future it can progress or it can get better. What they're telling you is 
if you're going to fall for someone or you're going to give yourself the opportunity to fall for someone, make sure that it is who they are, not who you're idolizing, not who you are fantasizing about, but who they really are. All right. So with the king of wands, sorry, with the king of swords here, you have to be methodical in regards to relationships, methodical in the aspect, like I said, dating with purpose, not just dating just to date because you're bored. No, if what you're wanting and what you're looking for is something of substance, then make sure that the people that you're choosing to give your time to are people of quality, are people that have, you know, a lot of things in common with you. Um, stop making excuses. Again, like I said, if what you're wanting is, uh, again, like I said, dating with purpose, uh, making sure that the person is wanting or is on the same page as you are, that they're looking for the same thing. Don't excuse it saying maybe later on they'll change their mind and vice versa. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you is you've been working on yourself. You've been working on what it is that you want when it comes to relationships most specifically um you've been shown what works and what doesn't work and at this point you have to be clear and concise like i said i keep hearing dating with purpose so just remember that when we're talking about relationships because i do see a lot of people coming into your life libra for the month of september and it's a new beginning it's a new cycle for you i do see here an earth energy maybe a taurus capricorn virgo for others of you, it may be a Gemini. For others of you, it may be an Aries. For others of you, it may be a Taurus. But ultimately, what they're telling you here is you do have the potential to manifest that long-lasting relationship. For those of you guys that have been dating for a while, you do have the potential of turning into something uh, committed, whether it's moving in with each other or getting engaged. Um, the desire to manifest some type of stability is definitely there. So again, date with purpose, Libra. I hope that this gives you guys inside guidance and I wish you guys all the best. We'll see each other soon. Bye.